So people, if they've ever been to Thailand, they might have seen a guy spin fire or breathe fire. And that's something that I did as a busker on Grafton Street. 18 years of age and I was a fire performer. And one night I was doing this move where a wheel of fire spins in front of you and it caught the fabric that I was wearing and my t-shirt just went up on fire. So I had to wait until the fire burned through the fabric so much that I could rip it off. It was like the worst pain you could ever imagine. And you have to ride it out before you pass out. But if you pass out, your body can go into shock and you can have a heart attack and die. So I was stuck in hospital and I was wrapped up in bandages and I was learning a card trick from a book. But I didn't have a deck of cards and I couldn't use my hands. And I was looking at the explanations and I was thinking, right, that, that makes sense, I can do that. And it was in that moment that I was like, the minute my hands heal and I can touch some cards, I'm gonna pursue this, I'm gonna see where it takes me. I'm Rua, I'm a fitness enthusiast. I'm a deception artist and I've turned injury into alchemy. As part of the healing, I had to wear a high pressure vest to try and put pressure on this scar to keep it flat down. But it made me incredibly self-conscious because everywhere I went, anyone could see that there was a zip up my back. And I developed this horrible self-body image thing that was just miserable. So I decided, you know, I'm feeling weak. I want to feel strong. So I hit the gym straight away and it hurt a lot, but it hurt in a good way. It was like I'm breaking the kind of tightness of everything. It really helped me in, like, in ways I can't even explain. If you had told me the night I got burned, you're gonna be a professional magician now, I would have looked at you like you're on drugs. Because magic was never even in my spectrum of thinking. But by its definition, alchemy is a seemingly magical process of transformation and I firmly believe in my heart that that is what's happened with me that I survived this incredible horrific accident and what's emerged from those fires is a bigger more confident stronger and, and happier person